It is high noon on March 24, 2010, and the Wednesday edition of the Daily Journal is upon the streets. Mike Fry here with Caleb Benoit. Caleb, we got one of my favorite kind of kinds of stories in the paper today. One that could have been a very bad story that turns out to be a good story. You know what I'm talking about? Yeah, there was a fire in a Roman park, and a group of people turned into pretty unlikely heroes. It's a good story. It's a very good story. What happened is a woman named Donna Legg lives out there on Strasma Drive, and their next door neighbors. A little girl, three-year-old Casey Cromwell, is playing in the backyard, looks over, sees that the neighbor's house is on fire. Goes in and alerts her dad, Stephen. Next thing you know, here he comes with a fire extinguisher, and here comes another neighbor with a 100-foot-long garden hose. They put that fire out before the fire department arrived. They basically, while the home is damaged, saved the home from being a total sure. loss. Good story. Good stuff. Mike, that story is on the front page of today's paper. Another story on the front page is about a man who passed away, but he's got an interesting story as well. Yes, this uh, man's uh, claim to fame came before your time and mine, but it's a great claim to fame. Uh, Caleb Allen Bergner, uh, Kankakee man, graduated from Kankakee High School, uh, went on to the Navy Academy, was the captain of the 1939 Navy football team that beat Army 10 to nothing and upset win. Ironically, Army at the time was captained by another Kankakee High grad, Harry Stella. After Allen left uh, the Academy and left athletics, he was on the West Virginia, USS West Virginia, was bombed at Pearl Harbor. Mm -hmm. He was a, a commander of submarines there in World War II. For all I know, he might have been my uh, grandfather, Winston McSwain's uh, commanding officer. You, re a, you really like this story. Oh, what I like most about it, Caleb, is, okay, <clears throat> our greatest generation, as Tom Brokaw uh, uh, coined the phrase, the World War II generation, mm -hmm. there's fewer in numbers with each passing day. We cannot forget what they sacrificed for this country. Any of you to get HBO, check out that documentary, The Pacific, that's currently playing, or it's actually a drama series. Great stuff, Good okay? Stuff. I salute that generation. Fewer in number today now with Mr. Berger's passing. Good stuff, Mike. Let's check in with Sean Loftus. He is our weather guy, and he has the forecast. Sean, take it away. Hey, how's it going, everybody? This is Sean Loftus. I am your videographer and weather guy for the Daily Journal, and I'm here to give you your AccuWeather forecast for the next three days. Um, uh, we're looking like we're going to be, again, pretty even keeled today with a slight dip into the 40s going into the weekend. We'll come out of that going back into the high 50s starting Saturday. But anyway, let's take a look at today's forecast. Um, we're looking at a high of about 57 degrees with a low of 41 tonight. We're going to have time of clouds and uh, sun interspersed throughout most of the day. Um, uh, it's going to become cloudy later today with um, some rain clouds spreading around the area late tonight. Um, that'll continue into the next morning on Thursday where we're going to see a high of about 46 degrees, a low of 26. It's going to be colder um, with times of rain throughout most of the day, um, some breezy conditions, and then, that, and then the clouds will break um, in the late afternoon going into that evening. Um, that'll take us into Friday with a high of 44 degrees, a low of 30. Um, we're going to have uh, sunshine um, with patchy clouds throughout most of the day into the afternoon and basically following suit later in that evening. So anyway, uh, that is the AccuWeather forecast for the next three days, and this is Sean Loftus, and we'll kick it back to the guys in the newsroom. Mike, we're back, and in addition to your role here as Metro Editor of the Daily Journal, you are also a youth baseball coach. I know last night you were telling me was the unofficial start to your baseball season, but you were having a little bit of trouble getting all your stuff together. Well, yes, Caleb. Uh, the uh Country Chevrolet team in the Limestone Pony League had its first practice of the season last night, and we needed to get our equipment together. I needed to get our equipment yeah. together. So I go out to the garage, and there's stuff everywhere. There's aluminum cans, there's golf clubs, there's an uh, artificial Christmas tree. It's a mess. Box. What I needed, well, I bought uh, my boy a brand new helmet during the off season. Okay. I had to find that. It took a while to get through those piles. Had some other equipment. It's out there someplace. After digging around, I finally got it all together. But I guess what it uh, relates to, Caleb, we have a story in the paper about today about the need for spring cleaning. Yes. You think I need to spring clean, don't Mike, you? Mike, you need to read that story. You need to get your act together. You need to clean up your mess. I saw, I moved it in different directions to get what I wanted. I, felt, I saw three or four other things in there I've been looking for, oh, we'll and now I know where they're at, too. So we're all right. We will be here in this spot next spring, and we'll be telling the same story all Caleb, over again. Caleb, I'm I better have. than those guys on an A&E show, The Hoarders. I got that beat. I got that beat every day. You are going to be on that show. Mike, read that story today about spring cleaning, and viewers can check out today's edition of The Daily Journal as well. Subscribe by calling it 815-937-3322. Till tomorrow, you stay... Classic. Okay. From the halls of Montezuma to shows of Triple. Right. Uh. <laughs> <laughs> All right, you guys ready to come back?
I like it. I have the darker background there. Yeah, that's I, Is that lighter? Yeah. You're like oh, yeah. a ghost. Oh, yeah. <laughs> that's very good. 